uh, the uh, Velcro to hold. And you have enough Velcro for two batteries. I didn't realize. Yeah, okay. Take that. Go with that. It's a good idea to write your name on your battery uh, so you know which one's yours. And okay, so we essentially have what is now almost a completed airplane. But you can see we have. Wonderful. And we have power. Oh, this is lovely. All right, I'm going to unplug for a second because I need to add the stabilizers, and that'll take a little while. Receiver first, then transmitter. All right, cutting out the stabilizers. We're almost done. Okay, so these are stabilizers. We've uh, given you a template to work with. Um, something important worth doing is run a sheet of, uh, run a um, bit of packing tape over the lugs, all right, because they tend to tear off. It's a weak point in the design. I welcome someone figuring out a better one and sending me an email. All right, and then this, I'll just freehand this. This is so easy. So you sit there and cut. Okay. This. Snip that out. Is that right? That's right. So be careful when you're cutting the lugs out. You don't want to score them too bad. You know, you want to try and keep it where the lines are. Do not. Okay. This is the tricky bit, is this little quarter inch bit that is really forming the lug. I kind of go on just a little bit and then I'll get it from the other side too. But it's, uh, these hold up pretty well. You know, you may have to repair them a few times, but and the towel will fly with them. Now look at this. You see what's happening here? This is, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of all getting torn up. I think my blades are too dull. So I need to snap it off. Get that one. There we go. That's one stabilizer ready to go. And yes, you're going to watch me make another one. Because that's how we roll around here. It's a complete build video. Sing you a song, so probably I'd be violating somebody's copyright and make me take it off YouTube. <sighs> it's a Brooklyn Aerodrome song. Oh, we have one. Brooklyn Aerodrome. Brooklyn Aerodrome. It's very kind of, you know, anthony. It fits the dignity of the overall enterprise. <laughs> okay, we're going to get there. Oh, we're getting close. We're almost done, folks. As excited as I am. To fly another airplane. Another towel about to be birthed. Okay, so we get the airframe back. And this is how I do this. I don't know if I recommend that this is the way you do it, but it's fast. So, uh, let's put the let's put that on the inside. So you take your... Uh, your um, your stabilizer, and you're going to put it on the outside of this arm. And it's going to have the effect of keeping this from sliding out ever, because um, there's no actual, it's just friction holding that in. So I like to have that actually set up. I put this about, uh, you know, about a half an inch ahead of the rear, because it's going to slide in the amount of that, uh, that slot. I put in a cut here, a cut here, and a cut there. And then, same thing up here, cut there. There, just a sizing one there, and then I freehand it, believe it or not. So I'm 
done this so many times. And you want these slots to, you know, if anything, make them too small and then make them bigger. Um, because they kind of do make a difference on how the, effectively the stabilizer is going to be. And it pops out nice and clean. And we do the same thing here. And then a nice little quarter inch looking bit there. So I'm cutting, you know, just the width of the foam. Super worried about everything being perfect. Okay. The same thing over here. Oh, we are close. Okay, so, so, so you can see that. And this one. Oh, sorry, it's very hard to shoot. Now you get the idea. Okay, and then we go and cut it quarter inch out, right up nice next next to the deck. It kind of helps it be a little stiffer. Um, pop that out, and this right next to the control rod. Nice straight cut. There, quarter inch off of that. Pop that out. And Put them in like that. Slide it back. Put this one in. Come on. It's a little tight. This one's a little tight, but just enough. Okay. You don't want it. if you have to force it too much, make the hole fit. You you you'll destroy the the things if you don't. And lo and behold, that is a completed towel. Oh, we have one more thing to do. I apologize. A lad. Um, so we are now going to power up, power up the transmitter again, power up the receiver again, and we're going to set the reflex trim. So, so you can see here. Let's just go through what the control throws are. This is so we have control, right? So what I want to do is, if you look at it, you'll notice that this is pretty flat. Uh, it looks like it might have a little bit of reflex. I'm not sure. But we need about a quarter inch of reflex for this thing to fly in perfect trim. Um, and so we're going to put that in by bending the control rods. So I'm going to pull the stabilizers out again um, to just so I can get everything nice and flat. Okay. And then the name of the game is you want to put a little weight on here. Okay. Transmitter is a good thing to use. <coughs> and take a scrap of... Um, Oh, or just take the stabilizer. And you want that to be about a quarter inch up, and that's not. You can see how that is. That's just kind of going button in. And the way you get a quarter inch of reflex in there, you could do it with trim tabs, but I discourage that. Um, what I want you to do is uh, take the rod and hold it in such a way that you twist it, but you kink it until you get a quarter inch. Okay? And you just do that. All right, see there's a little kink in there now. And that's about a quarter inch of reflex right there. And you can adjust that. That's an adjustable link. It's good to have your trim um, dialed in um, at mechanically as opposed to using a trim tab. Because what the, uh, that means that you're, if you build more than one of these, you, will, um, you won't have different trim for the airplanes. Okay, so that looks like maybe I put a little too much in there. I'm looking, here, I'm looking at it. I think it's a little too up. Too much up? Yeah. That's about right. That's just a little bit too much. So I fix it. And I go the other direction. Just take that same kink and just make it a little less. Let's see that do it. No, I need a little more. Still got to straighten it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's about right. Good. Uh, just a little more. Just sit there and try not to induce medical medical <laughs> sorry metal fatigue on it. But there we go. That looks good. So that's about a quarter inch there and a quarter inch there. I'm happy with that. Okay. So we've induced the trim that we require to fly, and we have an airplane now that is sound. 
Um, put this together. All right, let's check the center of gravity. Center, center of gravity on this airplane is 10 inches back from the nose. This is my recommended starting position for you. So you can measure that. Um, probably should have done that before, but let's get a Sharpie. And there's, so we do this and take her back. It's an inch in front of the prop cutout. I just like to put a line right there, and that's where I'm gonna put my fingers, CG. Center of gravity is what that is. And I'm holding it. So that's a little bit aft. Oh boy. Let's see. So holding it like this, um, holding it there is making it a little bit aft. So I can move the battery forward. You'd probably fly better back there. If I was flying this airplane, that's where I'd want it to be. But you guys are flying them, so we're going to try to make them a little safer. And so I may turn this around. Just get that battery right up front. Okay. There you go. That's perfect. So that's with the battery as far forward as I can pretty much get it and keep it on the airframe, and that's balancing close enough. Okay. And this is a fully ready-to-go towel. That's up, down, left, right. Okay. And here's the motor. That sounds awesome. It's going to fly good. It's a nice, stiff airplane. Um, and the one last little detail is snip off all of these zip ties without doing any damage to anything you care about. Be really careful again. Do not cut anything you don't intend to cut. Because you will, almost everybody has at some point or another, until we at night when we're repairing these things, it's very easy to zip, cut something that's crucial. You find yourself doing a lot of crazy soldering at night in a cold park. Okay, whoops, one more. And that's it. Voila. A new towel in the world, number 110, has been created. Enjoy your airplane.